The mysterious Kailasa Temple of India, by far the most magnificent of a mind-blowing over 100 Ellora Cave temple system, carved straight out of a solid basalt rock mountain face, one of the hardest known igneous rocks, registering up to an 8 on the Mohs scale of hardness. This temple structure was created from the top down, carving the rock from above like it was a simple wooden carving out of a tree. How could they possibly cut a stone of this density with such precision? It shows an incredible amount of evidence of pre-planning containing a computer-like perfection. With over 100 foot tall pillars, extremely complex carvings of elephants, lions, different three-dimensional high reliefs, intricate bridge systems, rainwater collection systems, drainage systems, complex stairways, balconies, and hidden underground passages. The intricacy of this structure proves within itself that an advanced builder culture was present here in India, creating some of the most magnificent megalithic structures on the planet and is clear evidence displaying high levels of knowledge that were present throughout the entire globe from Egypt to India in our ancient past. It's like this temple was excavated by an advanced machine, the level of perfection and immense difficulty that is at display here. An estimated over 400,000 tons of rock is said to have been removed in the creation of this temple which mainstream archaeology believes to have been built within only 18 years. That is simply put, not possible, only having chisels, pickaxes, and hammers. When you do the math, they would have had to remove over two and a half tons of rock every hour on the hour for 18 years straight, no breaks, somehow, two and a half tons of rock would have had to have been removed every hour on the hour. And that doesn't even take into account the carving of all of the intricate details. With no heavy machinery, yes, I'm sure that they were all just as strong as the Hulk and could lift two and a half tons with one arm themselves. Quite a simple task, right? Mainstream archeology, span no. This clearly is impossible to be done by a primitive culture lacking any advanced knowledge, tools, or advanced machinery, and quite simply implies the exact opposite in fact. This temple had to have been created by a highly advanced and extremely intelligent ancient culture. If you are still skeptical, grab some popcorn because this will prove my point even further and without a single doubt. By this mind-blowing aspect alone, in the year 1682, the Mughal king Aurangzeb, who was the perpetrator of destroying thousands of Indian temples through his reign, gave the task of demolition to a thousand people. He said to destroy this whole temple completely. They worked for three years until they finally realized it would be impossible to do so and gave up. Only being able to disfigure a few of the stone faces that alone shows you just how truly hard this basalt stone temple is. This was said to have been built by a more primitive culture 1,000 years before this. How could over 1,000 supposedly more advanced people spend three years trying to destroy this temple and barely put a single dent into the entire structure and give up? This evidence alone proves itself. It is the smoking gun evidence left in stone that there are amazing ancient megalithic building sites across the entire planet and a clear representation of a greatly advanced ancient culture that would be comparable to ours of today. It also appears if you look at the top of the structure with these four lines and preceding circles surrounding them, they also tracked the great 26,000 year processional cycle similar to the Egyptians and Mayans. Even more evidence of advanced geodetic knowledge located here and known by this culture. 
It would be very interesting to see if someone in India could gather more information on the exact location data here and see just how precisely this temple aligns during the equinoxes. And if the lions on top are truly telling us a story of the so-called four ages or seasons in the great processional cycle. And potentially the smaller cycles of earth with these smaller circles around the lions. This is my speculation, but definitely something I hope to go see in person and research more thoroughly. This temple itself appears to be aligned to the north and west quite precisely within its structure, if you look from the sky. The magnificent Kailasa temple bears many mysterious similarities to the great buildings of ancient Egypt. It is clear, undeniable evidence from the advanced cultures that inhabited the earth prior to the Sumerians before the great cataclysm of 13,000 years ago, known as the Younger Dryas impacts. Bear in mind, this is the most complex temple of over 100 different Ellora cave temples in the area carved into the mountainside of this region. Please don't forget to throw us a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments if you would like a more in-depth view of this temple surrounding Ellora temples and to take a deeper look into the potential geodetic knowledge that appears to be written within the stone. All ideas are welcome. We're exploring our infinite history and asking questions together. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, remember, nothing is set in stone except the pyramids.